Breaking news, North Korea's artillery attack against a South Korean island. The deadly attack this morning set homes and buildings on fire in civilian areas, sending thick black smoke into the sky, as you can see there. The White House has issued a statement this morning saying the United States strongly condemns this attack and calls on North Korea to halt its belligerent action and to fully abide by the terms of the armistice agreement. CBS News correspondent Celia Hatton is in Beijing, China this morning with the very latest for us. Celia, good morning. Good morning, Erica. It's the most serious military confrontation between North and South Korea in decades. And it's a worrying sign that Kim Jong-il's regime will continue its campaign of aggression in the region. South Korea's western island of Yongpyeong became a battleground today after North Korea began shelling the island, leaving buildings burning and the island's 1,200 civilians scrambling for cover. Both countries say the other side fired first before they exchanged rounds of artillery for almost an hour. South Korea had been conducting military drills near the island, refusing the North's earlier demands to stop the exercises. Seoul's now raised the country's threat level to its maximum setting and is clearing people from Yongpyeong, which lies near disputed territory. The Koreas have exchanged fire on the waters near the border before, but North Korea's firing on South Korean land, putting civilian lives at risk, has led to new heights of tension on the Korean peninsula. This is the latest episode in a string of aggressive moves by Pyongyang. From nuclear missile tests in 2006 and 2009 to the North's reported involvement in the March sinking of a South Korean warship, killing 46 on board. Days ago, news broke of a brand new nuclear facility in North Korea that could be used to process weapons grade uranium, indicating that international sanctions aimed at halting the North's nuclear ambitions are not working. Many will now be looking to China, North Korea's only real ally, to calm tensions. But that could be difficult. South Korea has already warned it will retaliate if the North continues with any additional military action. Erica? And we will all be watching Celia Hatton joining us from Beijing this morning. Celia, thanks.